Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father, and Yahweh means He is, He is, He is to be, He He exists. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name, Raka Kwadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give a double honors to the apostles and bishops and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth, and peace and salutations to you, Akiyam, that's pushing this word with truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akiyam Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to brothers and sisters. That may be tuning in, studying, and learning under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is the brother Taza War Bonaparium from the GMS Boston Camp back with a quick lesson. And as you can see, the spirit is mainly here at Great Millstone. We're here to prophesy, man. We're here to give warning. We're here to uh, 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 to tell you that the day of the Lord is coming, is nigh, and it's at hand. And then major prophecies is going to be fulfilled we know jacob's trouble has to take place we know that motb what john the revelator was speaking about in uh revelations the 13th chapter that grain of rice the karagma you know that has to be made mandatory that's a major prophecy and ultimately world war three these uh icbm missiles uh nuclear war thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot from ends of the earth to destroy uh all these armies but ultimately utterly destroy babylon the great aka america and that's what a prophet does we're here to give you that warning man that's the true testimony of yahweh shah man the spirit of prophecy so again you know we measure the time diligently you know we see through these news articles through these um what's happening felt you know what's happening around the world and we filter them through the prophecies in the scriptures because the scriptures the the bible is the true word of god and it's a living and faithful book man this is the only book that's going to tell you about upcoming wars and tribulations and miseries and uh, 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 and great evils upon the earth, man. And we're here to give you that warning, you know, because the Lord do nothing but reveal of his secrets amongst his servants, the prophets. We are we have a job, a duty, a task. We are the watchmen. We are the, really the true news anchors of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. And we're here to give you that warning. And the day of the Lord is coming, man. We're also one step closer to this judgment day, you know. Uh, so, uh, hey, man, the the fellow, before I get into this article, let me start it off with, um, you know, with uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know. Uh, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So that was the job of a prophet of old, you know, prophesying of many great countries and kingdoms of war, of evil and, and uh, uh, of pestilence, you know. And that's that's the same lot that the prophets here today are going to be uh, are doing. And we're here prophesying the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is a great kingdom. It's, a, it's great in wickedness, and the Lord is furious. The Lord has a bullseye on America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. You know, the sentiment here uh, in the minds of these Babylonians, these modern-day Babylonians, you know, they say, God bless America, you know, uh, a great USA, you know. But the, the, the Most High is about to destroy this place, man. And he's and he's using these tensions and... Uh, um, and these commotions and wars and rumors of wars ultimately to fulfill his will to destroy Babylon the Great, man. So war is coming, man. So I just wanted to get that. So let's get into this article, man. Uh, real quick. Salakia. Because, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's prophecy, man. This is biblical prophecy, and we're here to give you that warning. Revelations 11, verse 14. The second war was passed, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. And this is talking about World War Three is coming quickly, man. The second war was passed. World War One and World War Two passed already. But behold, that third world war cometh quickly. You know? Uh, Revelations 9 and 12. One war is passed, and behold, there comes two woes more hereafter. So World War Three is coming quickly, man. We on the brinks uh, uh, of shit hitting the fan, man. 
And again, these news articles, these leaders, these people in high places, they're preparing mainly in the East, mainly Russia, North Korea, India, uh, Syria, Iran, so on and so forth. They're being prepared for war. But here in America, they're caught up in folly. The, the news is giving them fluff, the distractions to not being prepared. So that's why the Lord set forth his prophets, mainly out here in Babylon, but there's prophets throughout the four corners of the earth. But we're here giving you that warning, what's happening uh, around the world, man. World War III is going to take place, and this is all to fulfill the Lord's will, man. So I got this article from endtimeheadlines.org. The, uh, the, the heading reads, Pentagon Insider warns we are on the brink of World War III. Hey, not, uh, hey, man. And that's through the spirit and power he held by Shem Shai. He had his servants, the prophets, starting from the apostles and bishops and elders and brothers on down years ago when, when it looked like America was still striving. It was looking like nothing of this uh, 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 will ever take place. Prophesying that America is going to go to war, mainly with Russia, you know, and these other countries, Iran, you know, uh, 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 India, China, North Korea, so on and so forth. They're going to go to war and, and it's going to be World War Three and he's going to be sh shot by 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 nuclear war. People will scoff and scorn. But now it's coming to fruition. It's, it, you can see it come in the past, man. Hey, that's why, you know, that's that confidence, that faith, man. We trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh We know his words will not go without void, knowing that it's going to be fulfilled, man. So now these people in, in the media, you know, again, people in high places in the Pentagon or these presidents, they're speaking about this war. But we've been giving you that warning uh, 30, 20 plus years ago, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. So again, the Pentagon insider warns we are at the brink of World War Three. A source inside the uh, in Pentagon uh, has warned Daily Express U.S. that we are on the brink of World War Three, amid surging conflict in the Middle East, sparked largely by Iran. The warning comes as Iran-backed proxies destabilize the Middle East by attacking Israel and U.S. targets, as well as international shipping in the region. Iran itself has also carried out strikes in neighborhooding Iraq and Pakistan, as well as Syria, sending tensions soaring. And again, this is the Lord preparing these, uh, 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 the Gentiles, preparing these other nations and armies getting gripped up for war. I get that, Lord willing, in Joel, the third chapter, man. Temperatures rising, you know. Was that Mob Deep song from uh, the infamous in 95? The temperatures rising, man. And we can see it, you know, those that have the, that, that has this light, this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. And this is why the Lord uh, uh, told us to covet, to prophesy, man, constantly push the, uh, 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 the word, man, have a strong desire. That's what that word covet. Lord willing, I would do another lesson to that. Covet, C-O-V-E-T. You have a strong desire, a lust, a good lust to keep on pushing this word, man, and staying occupied in prophecy, man. Uh, defense expert Nicholas Drummond echoed concern that the conflict in the Middle East could potentially escalate, but warned that if Tehran directly attacked Iran, uh, Salakia, directly attacked Israel, the ensuing war would be the end of Iran. Amen. Ultimately, this is the Lord moving his his chess pieces to ultimately get that that checkmate, which is the bullseye of Babylon, the destruction of America, which is Esau, Edom's uh, uh, main kingdom, man. It's the, the, the nucleus or Satan's center seat, man. You know, the Lord has a, a, a controversy with uh, mainly the whole earth, but, but Babylon the great, man. He's going to destroy it off the face of the earth and it's going to be by these arrows. It's going to be by thermonuclear missiles, man. Uh, speaking to the Daily Express U.S., he said Iran's agenda in the region and globally has been exposed and Iran is on the back foot. The West is saying to Iran, behave yourself or we will attack you directly. And that's ultimately the pump and the pride of, 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 of America. They feel that they can, you know, be busybodies and, and, and being uh, in feared, um, intervene uh, in everybody's matters, man, and, and mainly matters in the East. Hey, so they have that that pride acting like, hey, man, you better you better behave yourself or we'll bomb you. But guess what? As the scripture says, the weak are strong. They, these, these other nations, 
don't fear that the, the hammer of the whole earth. They don't fear that big bad bully anymore, man. And they're ready to go to war, man. So let's get Jeremiah, um, Salaki, uh, Joel, because I quoted it twice. Joel 3, verse 9. I put Jeremiah, Salaki. Joel 3, verse 9. And it reads Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Again, these other nations ain't going to take your threats lightly anymore. Oh, Iran, you better behave yourself or we will attack you directly. Man, these other nations are laughing. These militaries are laughing at uh, 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 the Babylonian military or the American military, man. You know, because they ultimately they, 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 they were weak in the past, but they're strong because they got that thermal nuclear missile uh, 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 in, in stock. You know, they have uh, missiles that will destroy America, you know, so they're pumping out their chest. As the scripture says, the Lord's preparing these Gentiles for war, man. Let the mighty men draw near. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Again, plowshares and pruning hooks are agriculture tools for farming. But now is the Lord's putting that spirit for them to turn their agriculture, uh, uh, their farming tools to get them ready for war, man, for military might, for uh, arsenal, for them ICBM missiles, man. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves uh, together round about. Uh, thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about, man. So the Lord is getting these other nations grip, uh, gripped up, ready for war. Ultimately, in, the, in what they call, quote unquote, the Middle East. This, that's going to be the valley of Yahweh Shapat, the Most High's judgment, you know. But these, these, these other nations are ready, man. This is why you see in these articles joint military drills or they're shooting out, uh, 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 you know, they're doing test launches of their ICBM missiles. You know, they're getting prepared for war, man. And ultimately, they all, the Lord is going to put in the spirit of all these kings and rulers to have that same common enemy. And it's Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, man, you know. So the, the hammer of the whole earth, uh, uh, you know, poking out their chest and being confident, saying, oh, you better behave or or we will attack y'all. Hey, man, these other nations are waiting, man. Ultimately, it's through the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shemi Shai, you know, but the, the, these other nations are waiting to shoot their arsenal, their arrows at you. You know, uh, let me get that. Jeremiah 50, verse 22. And this is what's going to lead. Jeremiah 50 and 22. Yeah, I could read up too. But um, Jeremiah 50 and 22, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. See, so the ham of the whole earth is America, man. America really think they're going to uh, be business as usual, threaten these other nations and have these bully tactics. But ultimately, these, the, uh, the weak are now strong. They're going to shoot their uh, arrows, man. And that's the Lord ultimately putting these spirits in these other nations. The Lord have opened up his armory and brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So let me go into this. Um, so this is the, the result of, 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 of nuclear ICBM missiles. That's that mushroom cloud, you know. But let me get a few images of what is these arrows, man. This is the work of the Lord's uh, indignation, man. These are the arrows that the prophets seed over 2,000 years ago, man. You know, and they just described it the best way they knew how, man. And this is what's going to lead the destruction, the besom of destruction, that mushroom cloud, and it's all prophesied to for to destroy Babylon the Great. You know, and these other uh, uh, people here in Babylon, hey man, this is how that fire is going to consume them, man. Just like in the, this is the image from um, you know, from uh, Terminator Two. Uh, Judgment Day This is You know The end of the movie Roughly Sarah O'Connor She had a dream 
And then there was a, a, a besom of the, uh, uh, a big blast, a fire, and it's sweet through, throughout the city, you know. And this was the cause of it, man. And this is biblical. This is uh, Zechariah, you know. Hey, this is where it's going to lead. Real quick. Because that's the spirit what brothers is getting to. Uh, 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 I was watching earlier this week uh, our elder, Elder Amoth and Elder Adama. They did videos, you know, uh, there was a... Well, Elder Dama, he did a video about uh, this guy having this dream and vision, and it, it was titled, I believe, Northeast uh, uh, Mushroom Cloud, you know, and in and, and that vision, he was seeing America being hit with fire, hit with thermonuclear missiles, you know, and it was, he was saying it the best way he was explaining his vision that it was, it was hit amongst the East Coast, mainly uh, uh, Boston, the New York line, and then that fire swept throughout all the way down the East Coast to Atlanta, you know. And he said it was a mushroom cloud. And, that, and that's all biblical, man. That's all biblical. You know, but this right here, this image from Sarah O'Connor's dream. What's that? Uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 14. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague where, wherewith the Lord shall will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And that's just perfect, man. See, so so these 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 um movie directors of you know they they know the scriptures. The Lord put in their in in their heart to come up with this uh, uh movie or this scene ultimately to fulfill the Lord's will, man. You know, and this is what's gonna happen. That the Terminator is not going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. That Terminator is going to be Yahweh Shah, you know, and, and Judgment Day, the day of the Lord, man, is going to have all the, the wicked, two thirds of Israel, the wicked and you sin is going to be uh, utterly destroyed. You know, the elect are going to be delivered. The elect are going to be delivered from this destruction, man. Because people will say, oh, well, you guys here are teaching that America is going to be destroyed. Well, you guys are here in America. What's going to happen to you? Hey, we believe through faith that the Lord is going to deliver us, as the scripture says, in a chariot, man. Which the world called, uh, so-called UFOs, unidentified flying objects. Those are real, man. They're, they're written throughout uh, many scriptures. The Lord, and those ain't um, aliens occupying those, them ships, man. Those are the angels of Yahweh Shem Yahweh the Lord of hosts, man. The Lord is going to bring chariots to deliver the elect. And I pray that uh, I'm found worthy to be delivered. And the Sasir Akiah, man, to be found worthy to be delivered as an elect, man, so we can see the destruction of Babylon the Great. But this mushroom cloud is going to take place, man, you know. But that day of the Lord is going to burn like, well, let me get it, man. Uh, what is it? Uh, Malachi? What is it? Malachi 4-1. And it reads, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And this is the day of the Lord, man. This is part of it. The destruction from these arrows, man, from these thermonuclear missiles. You know, the Lord is getting these other nations are prepared for war as I read in Joel And he's going to have them shoot their arrows I'm going to go back to Jeremiah Because I read that the hammer of the whole earth Just explaining that that's Babylon the Great You know They're going to receive uh, The 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 Lord's going to reward her double man Was that um, Jeremiah I'll start 50 and um, Yep, Jeremiah 50 verse 9 For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon An assembly of great nations from the north country And they shall set themselves in array against her From thence she shall be taken Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man And none shall return in vain And them arrows again are these cha oh, a lot of saying chariots These ICBM missiles, man See, this is all beautiful uh, 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 poetry and motion, you know. I did a lesson on this uh, 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 this famous quote unquote author here in America talking about how the Bible is fiction. Hey man, hey, you you gonna die a horrible death, man, for for even for for even thinking that the, the this this word is not living or true, man. 
These arrows, again, these are many witnesses, many prophets of old spoke on this, man. Whether it was Joel, whether it was Isaiah, whether it was Jeremiah, whether it was Ezra, Zechariah, many, Malachi, John the Revelator. All these, out of the mouths of two or three witnesses, let everything be established, man. And these, they all uh, 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 spoke it and, and prophesied through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Awashah. And now we're speaking it, man. So these arrows that I read are going to be shot from the ends of the earth. And this was going to cause the, uh, uh, the uh, Babylon to be burned as an oven, man. This was going to cause their flesh to be consumed out of their, their, their tongues and, and their, their, their eyes to be consumed, man. They're going to be burned as an oven, man. This is the lake of fire that the uh, John the Revelator spoke about. This ain't talking about hell. This is talking about uh, thermal nuclear destruction. The Lord said he was going to bring plagues upon the earth. The Lord said he shall judge all flesh with the fire. I'm going to get that, Lord, in Isaiah um, 66. But let me jump down. Same chapter, Jeremiah 50, you know, and uh, 13. But it says that the arrow shall be as a mighty expert, man. You know, it's going to shoot at Babylon. Verse 13, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. See, so the Lord is putting the spirit on these other nations to have these, uh, uh, to, 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 to shoot their arrows, man. And they're not going to spare none. There ain't going to be any left uh, uh, for savings. He's pretty much saying, yo, empty out the clip. Do uh, ultimate destruction, man. Air it out, man. But all these arrows, again, air it out, man. Multiple, multiple uh, oppressing swords and multiple arrows to be shot at Babylon, man. Because she have sinned. She have striven against the Lord, man. Let me uh, let me read that again, man. Jeremiah 50, verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. For she have sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her as she has done, do unto her. Cut off the sower of Babylon and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest. For the fear of the oppressing sword shall they shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land, man. Hey, so that oppressed that fear of the oppressing sword again. These are that oppressing sword, man. And this is this is going to ultimately come down on Babylon, a.k.a. America. So this place is, is, is going to be utterly destroyed. You know, there ain't going to be no saving Babylon. There ain't going to be, we would have healed Babylon. Hey, as the scripture said, let me get that. Jeremiah 51, verse um, 6. You know what? Let me read verse 2 and 3. Matter of fact, I'll start from the top. Jeremiah 51 uh, and 1. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and, and against them that dwelleth, dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Looking like that image. Once them thermonuclear missiles hit, it's going to be that sweep. That's that destroying wind. The thermonuclear missiles is going to cause that right there. That 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 besom of destruction to sweep off uh, all of um um Babylon the Great. That's why I believe it says in um Isaiah, uh, it's gonna be a land of confusion. You know, you ain't gonna know states Texas from Florida from Louisiana, uh, uh, New York to Massachusetts. It's just gonna be a whole lake of fire, man. Continuing on, verse two, and I will send unto Babylon fanners. That shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Against him that bendeth like the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine. Spare ye not, and spare ye not her young men. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Whew. Thus, thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans. And they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, 
or his yep, yep, his power for the Lord of hosts through their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Verse six, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off from her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. So this is all the indignation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the righteous anger. This is the vengeance. This is his will, man. This is the Lord's will to destroy Babylon the great, man. He will render unto her a recompense, payback. Hey, what's that James Brown song? The big payback, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai is over there salivating. In the kingdom right now He's salivating with Yahweh Just waiting to come through And fulfill his uh, To fulfill the, uh, Yahweh's will man Verse 7 Babylon had been a golden cup In the Lord's hand That made all the earth drunken See so the reason why The Lord has to bring destruction Because Babylon Has brought forth that wine That philosophy You know Has been that golden cup Has been the The, uh, the prime example of wickedness man you know, and it pushed forth all their wickedness throughout the earth. So this is why the Lord has to destroy and make an example of Babylon the Great. He, he, this is his will, man. Uh, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Again, that wine is not talking about Cabernet, Savion or Merlot. That wine is talking about the philosophies, the wickedness, the, 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 yeah, the wickedness that's pushed forth throughout the whole earth, man. Uh, verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. If so, she, if so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. For her judgment reacheth into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. Amen. So there's no saving, no healing Babylon. When this World War Three take take place as i read in this article this is not going to be business as usual this is not going for america is they're not going to strong arm they're not going to take over these other uh countries and plant their flag and set up army base and garrisons and and, and take over their population and no, it's none of that it's going to be destruction and all those troops that sign up for war they're going to be utterly destroyed in the valley of yahweh shapat you know, and I'm a God one, the mountain of truth. That's that day of judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, let me get um, 2nd Ezra 16, verse 1. And it reads, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves in, in cloth of sack and hair. Be well your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at, is at hand. A sword is sent um, upon you And who may turn it back A fire is sent among you And who may quench it The plagues are sent unto you And what is he that may drive them away May any man drive away A hungry lion in the wood Or May anyone quench the fire in the stubble When it have begun to burn May one Turn again the arrow that is shot Of a strong archer the mighty Lord sent, sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? So, hey, a fire shall go forth out of his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? All these questions, meaning that you ain't going to be able to stop the destruction of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Once these plagues are shot, mainly the thermonuclear missiles, once they're shot from their silos, ain't going to be a timeout, ain't going to be a reset, ain't going to be a... Uh, 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 anything that's going to prevent or stop this prophecy from taking place, man. Once they're shot from the ends of the earth, it's utterly going to destroy America, man. But I'm going to continue reading, man, and I'll close it out with this. Um, verse 10. He shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence, man. Hey, again, the Lord's coming with that fire. It's coming, man. Let me real quick, because I did quote it earlier. I said I want to read it, and I do want to end it off with um Second Ezra 16. But let me get um Second Ezra uh, 66 and 15. This let y'all know the characteristic of how Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, how he going to get down, man. Ver Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. 
and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. And them chariots, again, is what the world ignorantly calls UFOs or UAPs, what is it, uh, unidentified flying objects or unidentified aerial phenomenon, whatever. We know they're identified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We got the secrets. The Lord revealed his mysteries. And this is why we can confidently uh, 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 teach this word, man, and give warning, man. Them chariots are going to come too, man. The Lord's going to be beating uh, 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 people to powder, man, with them them ICBM missiles and them even that uh, um, the 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 blast uh, 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 through them chariots, man. You know, and he said the Lord will render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. The Lord's going to judge all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Hey, that's what the Lord about to do, man. That the Lord about to do, and them arrows. They, that, that sword The Lord's about to plead with all flesh And the slain of the Lord shall be many man And you can see in these images man The judgment day man As in Terminator 2 Yahweh Shai 2 man He's coming man That second death man He's about to bring judgment upon the earth man Let me finish back off in 2nd uh, Ezra 16 Where I left off 2nd of Ezra 16 and um Verse 11 Verse 10 He shall cast lightning And who shall not fear He shall thunder And who shall not be afraid Verse 11 The Lord shall threaten And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence The earth quaketh The foundations thereof The sea arises up with waves from the deep And the waves of it are troubled And the fishes thereof also before the Lord And behold the glory of his power Verse 13 For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shoot shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come up upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Woo! Hey man, this is beautiful. This is gonna happen. Them plagues that's gonna be shot, them arrows are not gonna return back, man. Ain't gonna be again no uh, disable, ain't gonna be no uh uh timeout, ain't gonna be no way that any anybody's gonna stop the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Everything that is gonna happen is gonna be fulfilled, man. And it's going to be the utter, utterly, it's going to lead to the utter destruction of Babylon. You know, I said I wanted to close it out with 2nd Ezra 16, but let me close it out with Revelation 18. And I'll get straight to the point. Uh, Revelations 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, man. Woo! Alas, alas. You go into that in the blue letter, it also is woe, woe. Destruction, death to that great city Babylon. And we know that as America. You know? And I'm gonna jump down, same chapter. And this is why we 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 rejoice as the scriptures say. We're confident we 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 can get happy and, and through the spirit, man. You know, we we hasten for the judgment of the of the day of the Lord for judgment to, to on, on, on Esau Edom on America. On these wicked nations, man. We're just we're hastening the day. But Revelations 18 and 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the most high have avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Amen. And that's straight to the point. 
There's many scriptures I want to get to, man. Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah, there's more. You know, there's many witnesses, more prophets that spoke on the destruction of Babylon. And it's and this is future prophecy. And Babylon, they're talking about is here in America, man. So with that, man, I pray everything was edifying. Hey, the Pentagon has been warning that they're on the brink of World War III, Putin, these other leaders. But hey, we've been saying that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh starting from the apostles of Great Millstone, the bishops and, uh, and um, bishops, the brothers and elders on brothers on down from Great Millstone. We've been giving you this warning about World War III and the destruction of America, man. So, hey, man, we just, hey, this is beautiful. We're in the beautiful times, but it, we're in the time also. You got to be prayed up. You got to measure the time diligently. You got to repent, seek the Lord 10 times more, man. You know, and we pray that we're found worthy to be delivered when, when this destruction comes, man. So with that, I pray everything was edifying. I want to say, call halayim la Yahweh Bashim Yahushar Bashim Rakakwadash. And that's all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushar Bashim Rakakwadash, man. Double honors to our apostles and elders, bishops, and brothers on down from Great Millstone who rule and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf Dawada. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, I want to say, Kwam Yasharala. Ababa Ba Shalom.